Cadet. Space Academy USA in the world beyond tomorrow, 2350 A.D. Here the space cadets train for duty on distant planets. In roaring rockets, they blast through the millions of miles from Earth to far-flung stars and brave the dangers of cosmic frontiers, protecting the liberties of the planet, safeguarding the cause of universal peace in the age of the conquest of space. Safeguard the freedom of space. Safeguard the freedom of space. And uphold the cause of peace throughout the universe. And uphold the cause of peace throughout the universe. To this end, I dedicate my life. To this end, I dedicate my life. Gentlemen, welcome to Space Academy. You know, sir, every time I see a new class of cadets take the Academy oath, even a small unit like this, Makes me tingle inside. Yes, I know what you mean, Pearson. Takes me back to my first day here at the Academy. I remember. Standing very straight, swearing in. I think it was the biggest day of my life. Mm -hmm, yes. Hey, I better go over to the lecture hall. My section forms in ten minutes. Oh, oh, Pearson, by the way, any report on Captain Turner yet? Not since he cleared Venus orbit, sir. That's strange. He should have checked in yesterday. If there's any report, call me at the lecture hall. Yes, sir. Spaceport control standing by. Come in. Come in. Identify yourself. Spaceport control standing by. Spaceport control from Rocket Scout B-74. This is Captain Turner. Are you receiving me? Channel clear. Go ahead. Approaching Earth atmosphere on northeast quadrant. Clear me for touchdown in 15 minutes. Yes, sir. Is Captain Strong there? No, sir. Get him for me as fast as you can. I must talk to him. Captain Turner, what's wrong? Captain Turner. Hello. Hello, Spaceport. Are you still receiving me? Yes, sir. But what happened? I don't know. Everything went black. Are you all right, sir? Yes. Yes, but get hold of Strong. I must talk to him. It's vital. The safety of Earth depends on it. The safety of Earth and the whole solar alliance. It's any day before noon, and the morning is running out. But Sharon's energy is far from running out. All morning long, she's bright and alert. And look at her brother Dick in gym class, going strong all morning long. No letdown for them. No, sir. They've got more punch till lunch. And here's the secret. A good, hearty breakfast built around Kellogg's Corn Flakes. And Kellogg's Corn Flakes packs the punch, provides the staying power of corn, the power that stays with you till long past noon. Serving Kellogg's Corn Flakes is no bother at all for Mother. Yes, it's a mighty easy, mighty delicious way to get more punch till lunch. Big, fresh flakes of toasted corn with sugar and milk. There's a difference in Corn Flakes, and you can taste the difference in Kellogg's. Mmm, what flavor. No wonder Kellogg's Corn Flakes are the world's most popular ready-to-eat cereal. The whole family loves them. The whole family needs them for more punch till lunch. So to get going and keep going all morning long, get Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the original. Cadet Roger Manning. Yes, sir. Cadet Astro. Yes, sir. Cadet Tom Corbett. Yes, sir. Take your seats, men. As you all know, 400 years ago, the first rocket ship left the Earth and broke through the barriers of space. The universe was opened, and the people of Earth came into contact with the people of Mars, and then Venus. But there was conflict, mistrust, wars were fought, cities, countries, whole civilizations were destroyed, until finally, 100 years ago, we reached the age of reason, and the Solar Alliance was created. The Solar Guards were formed to ensure the liberty and the freedom of all peoples. You, as space cadets, will now start training to become officers of the Solar Guards. Your responsibilities are great, men. You hold the future of the Solar Alliance in your hands.
They are people to be met and understood. But remember this, and remember it well. You'll meet them as men of peace. You'll, you'll deal with them in honor and in trust. You'll fight only for freedom and for liberty. And now, before I outline your duties and your courses of study and... Pardon me. Captain Strong speaking. Lieutenant Pearson, spaceport control, sir. Yes, Pearson. Captain Turner just reported in a few minutes ago. Good. Keep him in contact. But I just lost him, sir. Contact was broken. Oh? I think you better get over here right away, sir. I think he's in trouble. All right. All right, Pearson. I'll be there in, in two minutes. Section's dismissed. Be back here in one hour. We'll pick up where we left off. What do you suppose that was all about? By the rings of Saturn, I'll bet there's trouble somewhere. Why, there must be. Did you see that look on Captain Strong's face? Go on. It's a lot of space gas. What? Oh, space gas, is it? Sure. They get steamed up over nothing in this place. And did you hear that song and dance about fighting for peace and freedom? Why, they outlawed guns over a hundred years ago. What are we going to fight with? Books? Or magnoscope? My friend, it seems to me there's a lot of space gas being sprayed around right now. Yes, I smell it too. <laughs> oh, a couple of good little space scouts, aren't we? Gonna do or die for the Academy, I suppose. Grow up, Junior. Look, if you think this is such a lot of meteor dust, why did you come here in the first place? Because I'm pretty smart. Space Academy can teach me plenty. And when I'm through, they'll get me a real paying job flying commercial rockets. Only suckers would fall for that routine about soldiers of peace and freedom. By the craters of Luna, I think hey, I'll stick them up. easy there. Don't blast your jets. Let them go. Think I'm afraid of fight? No. But another crack out of you and I'll start operating. Now get going. Blast off. All right, Junior. Take it easy. Your halo's getting crooked. Besides, I was getting bored anyhow. You shouldn't have stopped me, my friend. That boy needs a lesson. He'll get one soon enough. The Academy will give it to him. Say, who is he anyway? He answered to the name of Manning. Roger Manning. Oh, yes. Well, let's forget about him. As soon as they break us up into rocket training units, we'll, we'll probably never even see him again. I hope not. <laughs> By the way, we haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Tom Corbin. My name is Astro. Astro? Astro what? Just Astro. <laughs> you see, I am from Venus. My grandparents were among the first Earth colonists there, but my parents were born there as I. Oh, that's why you walk as though you had a weight across your shoulders. Sure, Venus' gravity is less than ours, so your body actually weighs more here than it did on Venus. That's right, but I thought I'd become used to it by now. I guess it still shows. Oh, just a bit. Say, then, this isn't the first time you've ever been on Earth? Oh, by the clouds of Venus, no. I was an enlisted space sailor for more than a year. I took the special examination and was lucky enough to qualify for the Academy. Well, then you're a regular rocketeer already. Boy, I wish I had your experience. You've never been aboard a cruiser? Well, not a regular cruiser. Oh, I checked out on rocket trainers during primary school, but well, compared to you, I'm nothing but an earthworm. Well, listen, Captain Strong said we had an hour. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the spaceport and I'll show you around a cruiser. Swell, let's go. You know, Rocket Scout V-74 from spaceport control. Come in, Captain Turner. Acknowledge. Can't you clear up that reception, Pearson? Look at the screen. It's all hash. But it isn't reception, Captain Strong. It's transmission. Either he isn't tuned right or he's, his set's gone haywire. Where's he now? There, there he is. Coming through the atmosphere now. And plenty fast. He better turn tail soon or he'll... Space Control from Captain Turner. He's calling us. Spaceport Control from Captain Turner. Are you receiving me? Hello, Turner. Turner, this is Strong. Turn the tail of your ship around for landing quickly. I don't think I can make it in. Of course you can, Turner. You're only three minutes away from Spaceport. I'm, I'm tired, dizzy. I can't see clearly. Step out of it, Turner. Strong, listen. In case I don't make it, watch for... Uh, watch for... Yes, Turner, I'm listening. Watch for what? Watch for men of... Uh, Turner! What is it, Captain Strong? The same thing happened before. What's wrong? I don't know. Turner! Turner!
The empty chair belongs to Dad. Skipped his breakfast? Mmm, that's bad. Look, he starts off feeling grand, sawing wood to beat the band. But long before his lunch, we see Dad's as slow as slow can be. Well, now let's go back and get Dad going like the rest of the family with a good hearty breakfast that'll keep him going all morning. A breakfast built around crisp, delicious Kellogg's Corn Flakes. And are they good? Well, there's a difference in Corn Flakes and you can taste it in Kellogg's. And now, like the rest of the family, Dad has more punch till lunch. Yes, Kellogg's Corn Flakes pack the punch. For Kellogg's Corn Flakes give you the staying power of corn to help you work better, play harder all morning long. So, Mother, get the cereal that'll give Dad and the whole family more punch till lunch. The world's most popular ready-to-eat cereal, Kellogg's Corn Flakes, the original. Well, here you are, Tom, a rocket cruiser of the latest design. This is the Polaris. That's beautiful, Astro. The most beautiful thing in the whole world. Aye. And one day, if you're lucky, you'll be the master of such a ship as this. You will walk her decks a million miles out in the void, stare out of the viewports into the majestic blackness of outer space. You will see planets, asteroids, Worlds dead and worlds still unborn. Then by all the satellites of Jupiter, then, Tom, you will know what it means to be a spaceman. You make it sound pretty wonderful. Oh, it is wonderful. But come on now. Climb up into the space lock and take a look around inside. Well, will it be all right? Of course. Here, I'll open the door. Hey, what's that? Emergency signal. It means trouble. What do you mean, trouble? Look, Tom, there in the sky, that rocket scout coming in for a landing. But he hasn't turned tail yet, and his rockets are dead. He's just falling out of control. Hey, you two, get down. Captain Strong. Did you hear what I said? Get down. Blood on your belly to cover your head. It's flashing in. Heads down. It's only the beginning. 